hello guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video i will be showing you how to make a very tender succulent and the yummy barbecue chicken so the first thing we are going to do is to preheat the oven and i'm going to preheat mine at 220 degrees celsius as always and then i will turn on the up and down burner so over here is my chicken i washed it and cleaned it a night before so um right now all the liquid in the chicken has all dried out so basically anytime you want to grill your chicken in the oven make sure you wash it properly and then dry it or pat it dry with a paper towel or you can leave it to dry out all the excess liquid on it that way your ingredients will stick very well so to the chicken now i just added some meat seasoning and to that i will also be adding some garlic powder now for the list of the ingredients i used in this video please make sure you check the description box below now i'm going to be adding some thyme To that I will also be adding some salt, add some pepper, some chili pepper, you can add as much as you want. I'm also going to be adding some curry powder. Add some paprika powder. I'm going to be adding some nutmeg as well. This is optional. You don't have to add it if you don't want to. Now, finally, to that, I'm going to be adding some soy sauce and then I'm going to massage the ingredients. Like, make sure to massage all the ingredients all over the chicken, both from the outside to the inside of the chicken. now once i'm done with that i'm going to transfer the chicken into my oven baking tray and i have also lined the baking tray with some foil paper so um i'm going to put the chicken inside the oven the preheated oven and i'm going to grill for 30 minutes Now, while the chicken is grilling, I'm going to introduce you to my barbecue sauce. This is the brand I'm using. You can use your favorite barbecue um, sauce. You can go to any grocery store and ask them to give you barbecue sauce. Any brand is okay. And to that, I also added some hot chili pepper. If you don't have this hot chili pepper, it's fine. And you can also add some ketchup to that if you don't have the hot chili sauce or you can skip it but i just want the two flavors in my chicken so here is the chicken it has been grilling for about 30 minutes and you saw the liquid that came out from the chicken so i was making jollof rice so i transferred it into my jollof rice it was so yum <laughs> now i brought out the chicken and then i flipped it over and then rubbed the mixed barbecue and hot chili sauce rub it all over the side i flipped and put it back in the oven and let it grill for 12 minutes after 12 minutes i brought it out again i flipped it to the other side and then i rubbed the remaining barbecue and the hot chili sauce on the side that i flipped And now I'm going to put it back in the oven and then I'm going to leave it there until it browns like dark brown like what you can see now 
But if you don't want it to be this brown, you can just leave it for 10 minutes and bring it out. But I left mine for up to 15 minutes. So that's why it's brown like this. And can you see how soft, how tender, how succulent? <laughs> oh my goodness, guys. The chicken is. It was really yummy. And we paired it with some delicious jollof rice. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.